What if someone told you there are volcanoes capable of eruptions so massive they could change the world in an instant? These are super volcanoes, Earth sleeping giants scattered across the planet with the power to unleash destruction on a scale never seen before. From the famous Yellowstone in the US to the ancient Toba in Indonesia, these volcanic monsters have shaped Earth's history and they could do it again in the future. But where are these super volcanoes hiding? What makes them so dangerous? And could one of them erupt in our lifetime? In this video, the focus is on the most powerful volcanoes on Earth, uncovering the science behind their potential for global catastrophe and what that could mean for everyone. Yellowstone, the ticking time bomb. Take Yellowstone National Park, for instance. Beneath the beauty of this American treasure lies something far more dangerous, a supervolcano. It's one of the largest on Earth, and if it ever erupts, it could send ash clouds across continents and disrupt life as we know it. This is Yellowstone, a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. Most people don't realize that Yellowstone National Park sits on top of a massive underground chamber of molten rock, so big it's mind-blowing. This magma chamber is 60 kilometers long, 30 kilometers wide, and up to 15 kilometers deep. That's enough molten rock to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. This is what makes Yellowstone one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes in the world. And here's the scary part. Yellowstone has erupted with supervolcanic force three times in the last two million years. Each time, the blast was thousands of times more powerful than a typical volcanic eruption. And when Yellowstone goes off again, the consequences will be felt worldwide. Imagine ashfall blanketing cities, crops failing, and even a volcanic winter, where temperatures drop because the ash and gases block out the sun. Yellowstone is still very much alive. Geysers like Old Faithful, bubbling hot springs, and frequent earthquakes are all signs of ongoing geothermal activity beneath the park. The ground itself rises and falls, a reminder that the magma chamber below is still very much on the move. In other words, Yellowstone isn't dead, it's just sleeping. Toba, another monster beneath the surface. And Yellowstone is not alone. In Indonesia, there's Toba, another supervolcano that erupted around 74,000 years ago. That eruption was so powerful, it's believed to have triggered a volcanic winter that lasted for years, possibly even bringing the human population down to just a few thousand people. Toba's explosion changed the course of history, and it's still out there, silently waiting. Campi Flegre, the hidden danger beneath Naples. When people think of volcanoes in Italy, their minds usually go straight to Mount Vesuvius, the infamous volcano that buried Pompeii in AD 79. But there's another volcanic threat lurking nearby, and it's even more dangerous than Vesuvius. Meet Campi Flegre, a supervolcano hiding in plain sight beneath the bustling city of Naples. But don't let its quiet appearance fool you. Campi Flegre is anything but inactive. This supervolcano has been showing signs of unrest for decades, and scientists are keeping a close eye on it. The ground in this region has been rising and falling due to the movement of magma beneath the surface, a phenomenon called Bradyseism. And if that's not enough to get your attention, the area has also experienced frequent small earthquakes, a telltale sign of potential volcanic activity. Taupo, New Zealand's silent giant. Let's head to New Zealand, a country known for its stunning landscapes, dramatic mountains, and beautiful lakes. But beneath all that natural beauty lies a hidden threat, Lake Taupo, one of the most powerful supervolcanoes on Earth. While it may look like just a peaceful lake, what's beneath the surface is anything but calm. Taupo has a reputation that should send chills down anyone's spine. This massive volcanic system has been responsible for some of the most explosive eruptions in history, and it's still very much active. Even though it has been silent for over a thousand years, the danger is far from over. Around 1,800 years ago, 
Taupo erupted with a force so powerful that it sent volcanic ash over 1,000 kilometers away. That eruption is known as the Oruanui eruption, and it wasn't just another volcanic event. It was a global catastrophe in the making. Ash from this massive explosion was carried across the Pacific, affecting areas as far away as Australia. The blast was so intense that it likely darkened skies and disrupted climates across much of the Southern Hemisphere. What makes Taupo particularly dangerous is the sheer size of its magma chamber. It's huge, large enough to produce eruptions that would send ash and gases into the atmosphere, cooling the planet and triggering what's known as a volcanic winter. If that happens, temperatures across the globe could drop for years, disrupting weather patterns, agriculture, and even livelihoods worldwide. Ira Caldera, Japan's active supervolcano. Japan, known for its frequent earthquakes and volcanic activity, is home to one of the world's most active supervolcanoes, the Aira Caldera. If you thought Japan's Sakurajima volcano was dangerous, just wait until you learn what lies beneath it. The Aira Caldera isn't just a typical volcanic system. It's a supervolcano, capable of an eruption so powerful it could wreak havoc on southern Japan and beyond. With Sakurajima constantly erupting, spewing ash and smoke into the skies, Japan has an ever-present reminder that this region is far from dormant. Like other supervolcanoes around the world, the Aira Caldera hides its true power beneath the ground. What makes it especially dangerous is the magma chamber lurking beneath the surface. This massive underground reservoir of molten rock is constantly building up pressure, and while it hasn't erupted in modern times, that doesn't mean it won't in the future. So, what would happen if the Ira Caldera erupts? The consequences would be devastating for Japan. Millions of people live within the potential impact zone, and an eruption of this scale could send ash clouds over large parts of the country, crippling transportation, destroying agriculture, and causing mass evacuations. Cities like Kagoshima, located just kilometers away, would be at immediate risk. And it wouldn't just stop at Japan. A massive eruption could send volcanic gases into the atmosphere, impacting the global climate. We're talking about the potential for cooler temperatures, disrupted weather patterns, and a volcanic winter that could affect crops and food supplies around the world. La Garita, the forgotten giant of Colorado. Imagine the peaceful, towering mountains of Colorado. A place known for its beauty, hiking trails, and outdoor adventures. But hidden beneath that serene landscape lies the story of one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions ever to happen on Earth. La Garita La Garita's eruption is something straight out of a science fiction movie, except it's real. We're talking about an explosion so incredibly powerful that it dwarfs many of the famous volcanic eruptions you've heard of, including Yellowstone. The sheer scale of the La Garita eruption is almost impossible to wrap your head around. To put it in perspective, La Garita spewed out over 5,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. That's more than 500 times the amount released by Mount St. Helens in 1980. If that eruption had happened today, it would have covered large parts of the U.S. in ash, disrupted global weather patterns, and caused chaos across the planet. What's next for supervolcanoes? These volcanoes changed the course of history. Can we predict the next supervolcano eruption? Even with all our modern technology and scientific know-how, predicting supervolcanic eruptions is incredibly difficult. Scientists have gotten better at monitoring volcanoes, tracking everything from seismic activity to ground deformation. That's when the ground swells due to magma moving beneath the surface. But predicting exactly when a supervolcano will erupt that's a whole different story. While scientists might be able to give us a warning if one of these giants is getting ready to erupt, they can't pinpoint exactly when it'll happen. It could be tomorrow, or it could be hundreds of thousands of years from now. 
That's the nature of dealing with forces as massive and unpredictable as supervolcanoes. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Let us know what you think in the comments.